I believe nearly all of the 30 million small business owners in the U.S. know about the SBA because of PPP, EIDL, other COVID relief programs. Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. I've got a great update for you today. First, there's a new report out from the SBA on what they're planning on in the next several months and next year. A lot of it is funding related and how they're gonna help more of you get the funding you need. Second, a big COVID EIDL fraud story. Believe it or not, people are getting arrested every single day when it comes to EIDL or PPP. I wanna share a brand new update there. And finally, more grants. We have over a million dollars worth of grants now available on the Skip app. I'll give a quick update on some of the new grants there. As always, thanks so much for subscribing, tuning in, and being an incredible supporter of the Skip community. Let me start here with grants. We are giving out $1,000 grants this month. We've been donating all of our YouTube revenue for almost three years. 90% of you watching this video right now have not entered our $1,000 grants. It's free to enter, it takes around 30 seconds. Go to helloskip.com slash 1K or use the link right in the description. We'll be picking winners at the end of this month live right here on YouTube. Another reason for you to be subscribed with your alerts on. Let me quickly scroll over some of the other grants. 10K grant for women, 25K grants, 10K grants, 40K grants, up to $50,000 in loans, $50,000 in grants, 10K grants from Verizon. The list goes on and on. If you wanna make sure that you never, never miss out on funding opportunities, grants, loans, financing, things that we think are good opportunities, opportunities that people in our community have successfully applied for and received. I'll put a link to the app right below or it's also in the description. Okay, before I talk about the new SBA report, a quick recap, it's been several months since I've talked about COVID-19 relief fraud. So we're back at it, a former South Florida regional bank manager was sentenced for COVID-19 relief fraud. This fraud story coming out of Miami, Florida. By the way, would love to hear in the comments, what state are you watching from? I'm going to read every single comment tonight and tally up who's watching from where. I'll report in the next video where we've got the most representation. Daniel Hernandez, 51, a former South Florida regional manager for a leading national bank, believe it or not, has been sentenced to 120 months in prison for participating in a conspiracy to defraud the PPP out of loan proceeds. There are a couple other co-conspirators named. They submitted over 90 fraudulent PPP loan applications. The applications were primarily submitted to two banks. He also conspired to submit fraudulent EIDL applications through the SBA, but most of those were declined. That's a long sentence. For those of you quick at math, 120 months, that's 10 years. Hopefully that's a deterrent to many others who think that they can take advantage of relief programs. Speaking of, this came out a couple weeks ago. I talked about this before. A California woman fled to Montenegro to avoid serving a lengthy prison sentence because of her PPP and EIDL fraud. Well, she was finally extradited. She landed back in California. She has been charged with trying to fraudulently obtain more than 20 million in PPP and EIDL relief funds. They used dozens of fake, stolen, or synthetic identities, including names belonging to elderly or deceased people and foreign exchange students who briefly visited the U.S. years ago and never returned. So there you go. That's the latest update in EIDL PPP fraud land. Let me talk about the new SBA report 2024 plan and what they're prioritizing. This is really interesting. I want to highlight a few things here. First, procurement. They're all about equity and procurement. For example, in fiscal year 2020, the federal government awarded $146 billion in contracts to small businesses. Many of you have asked about these government contracts, whether you're a service or product-based business. 11% of that money went to small disadvantaged businesses, 5% to women-owned small businesses, 5% to service-disabled veteran-owned small businesses. The main point here is the federal government has a lot of money and they're putting it towards equity, inclusivity. If you're a women-owned business, veteran-owned business, you wanna talk about what options might be available to you or you wanna be certified as a women-owned or veteran-owned small business. Let us know, we can always help you. You can always go to helloskip.com slash join to learn more. So the SBA has said they're looking at that program and they're going to decide whether or not to expand it or not. Speaking of expanding the Community Navigator pilot program, I talked about this a few times, but it's been a while. 51 hubs and more than 400 spokes received grants to implement this program, which is designed to facilitate access to 
and participation in federal small business aid programs. A lot of what we do right here on this channel. Well, the SBA doesn't have a very good evaluation of how this program is doing. So part of this plan, part of this report is to better understand, hey, did this actually make a difference? And you know, I have strong feelings about this. Part of the reason why we skip exist as a company, our goal is to increase accessibility through channels that you're already on, such as YouTube, social media, wherever you're getting your information, we wanna be there for you. The problem with a lot of these government sponsored programs, well, they have millions behind them, but they often don't have the reach, they don't move the needle, maybe they're helping hundreds of businesses, and the outcomes are still iffy, but I would love to be proven wrong. Have you gone through any programs like this, any government-backed small business or entrepreneur programs, programs that help you learn about funding, about new opportunities, about procurement? Have you gone through any yourself? Do you know about any yourself? Let me know in the comments. The last piece here in this report is the fraud mitigation oversight. And I think this is an incredibly important program. I just shared a few examples of successful tracking of fraud arrests and sentencing. Especially now, the SBA has become a mainstream agency. I believe nearly all of the 30 million small business owners in the US know about the SBA because of PPP, EIDL, other COVID relief programs. And now a lot of those folks are looking towards 504, microloans, 7A, and other SBA resources. I think it's more important than ever for the SBA to have good fraud mitigation and prevention programs. So I'm glad to see this is in their plan. I know a lot of you have chimed in over the past few years, especially those of you who didn't get the $10,000 targeted EIDL grants. You were upset knowing that there were fraudsters out there siphoning off millions and millions of dollars and those scammers got money that you should have gotten. So hopefully efforts like this go a long way into not only saving money, but also helping you get the resources or funding you need. Speaking of funding you need, again, if you haven't gone and downloaded our app yet, the link is right below. Do yourself a favor check it out and of course enter our $1,000 grants this month but there are tons of other grants available on the app I hope they help most importantly stay well stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video